my name is Mila and today we're going to be discussing and reviewing P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. This is the sequel to To All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han. And if you guys didn't know, I did a book talk on that one too. So if you guys want to go learn what these two books are about, click on this book and it'll take you to my review. But my non-spoilery thoughts about this book is I really, really liked it. Like I mentioned before, I really love the characters in To All the Boys I Loved Before. I love Laura Jean. I love her sister. I love the cute, awkward moments that fill every page. This book had me laughing so hard. There were so many funny moments in it and that's why I love this series. That's why I love Ginny Han's writing and her characters because they just make me laugh and smile so much. And right as I opened up this book, all my feelings from To All the Boys I Loved Before came back to me. So overall, I really did enjoy this book. I did have some issues with it like I did with the first one, but these books make me laugh so much. The characters were just as hilarious, if not more hilarious than they were in the first one, which was really what I was looking forward to reading in this book. So my expectations were definitely met in that section. However, I did have some issues with this book, but in this book, there are some new topics that aren't really discussed in To All the Boys I Loved Before, new topics that expand upon the characters and develop them more and it just makes everything seem more realistic but these issues these new topics in our story also create more drama between the characters which I didn't like I really don't like it when things get over dramatic in books especially contemporaries and that kind of happened in this book but it didn't keep me from loving this book. Some of these topics include talking more about Laura Jean's mother and how she's feeling about that. Another one is the inappropriate usage of the internet and kind of cyberbullying, social media kind of stuff. And then the next one is sex. I don't want to say too much for fear I will spoil you, but yes, these new topics definitely give us a better idea of the characters, makes them seem more real and the things that happen to them more realistic. There are things in this book that I feel like should have been in the other book. They further include some of the events in the first book. I feel like they would have gone better in the first book, but I'll be discussing those more in the discussion part of this video. I'm not sure which book I love more, To All the Boys I've Loved Before or P.S. I Still Love You. Even with all the little issues that I had, I still love them and the characters in them so much. But I'm going to get into the discussion part of this video, which will include spoilers. So if you guys do not want to be spoiled for this book, you don't want to be spoiled for this book. Leave now, read this book, and come back so we can discuss it. So bye if you haven't read this book. Okay, let's get down to business. Let's get down to business. Oh. Okay, so my issues with this book. First of them was like the main plot line in this book, Johnny. At first, I really liked the idea of Johnny. I wanted to see how he reacted to reading Laura Jean's letter. I thought that they could be friends and it would be so funny. They'd laugh about it. She'd be embarrassed about the things that she wrote in that letter. But it wouldn't go further than a friendship. Because obviously, why would we need another love interest? We already have two already. But what I wasn't expecting was Johnny to fall head over heels in love with Laura Jean. I mean, the story was complicated enough as it was with the love triangle between Peter and Josh. I wasn't that big of a fan of, as you guys might know from my book talk for To All the Boys I Loved Before. But just adding Johnny into the mix totally threw me off. Um, I, like, hold up, D did this love triangle just turn into a love quadrilateral? I and I thought I didn't like love triangles. Turns out I don't like love tr quadrilaterals even more. I thought that this book would finally be Largy deciding who her heart felt she belonged to, Peter or Josh. Peter or Josh, not Johnny. Who's Johnny? Get out of here, Johnny. Like I said before, I don't really think a whole new love interest was necessary. But despite my dislikement of the situation and of this love quadrilateral, of these warring hearts, I did find myself liking Johnny. I loved it when they were playing in the snow during the dance and how they would dance at the old folks home during 40s themed dance. It was so cute. But that's not what I wanted Lara Jean to do. I wanted her to come to terms between Josh and Peter. I mean, she kind of did. She sort of talked to Josh after Christmas party, but she didn't really talk to him. I mean, she said, hello, hi, how you doing? Can we be friends again? And he said, yeah, sure, but did they really discuss things between them and Peter? No, no, no. Which totally didn't resolve anything. 
And speaking of Peter, I felt the same way about him in this book as I did into All the Boys I Loved Before. I started off hating him, then I started liking him because of all the cute moments, and then I ended up hating him again. He's just one of those unpredictable little characters. You don't know if he's going to be sweet and kind, or if he's going to be rude and not tell you things. I understand why he didn't tell Laura Jean about Jen and what was going on with her because it wasn't her business and it wasn't his secret to tell, but he could have at least given her some clue. I mean, he said, you have to trust me, I'm not cheating on you, I'm not doing anything, and Laura Jean didn't believe him, probably because she wanted to take her chances with Johnny over here. But if he had just given her proof, I think that he wasn't doing anything, because obviously they have a past together. There was this line in P.S. I Still Love You that said, that basically said that Laura Jean believed that Peter was the only one who needed to get over Jen from his past. But in all truth, Laura Jean needed to get over her too from their friendship, their ruined friendship. I thought that I was gonna come to this mutual liking of Jen. I don't know why. I just thought that the, that Laura Jean and her would have this conversation. I'd be like, oh, okay, this is what's going on. I, I, I understand now. But oh, their conversation in the bath in the bathroom just made me hate her that much more. She was such a jerk to Laura Jean after she holds grudges for so long. That was middle school. They're, uh, they're about to graduate high school and what she's holding a grudge from so many years ago. That was just so frustrating to watch. If you have a grudge, what's the point of holding on to it? It's only going to cause you more pain. It's only going to cause your life more complications. Just let it go. Be friends again. Talking about this might be hard, it might not be the easiest thing to do, but but why hold on to a grudge for this long, for this many years? All it's gonna do is hurt you. Jen and Laura Jean might be scared that taking a chance to try to talk to each other, to try to resolve things between them, might not be the right thing to do. It might make them feel more uncomfortable. It might make the rift between them even bigger. But there's also this chance that things will get resolved between them. They will come to an understanding about what happened, why they aren't friends anymore. And yes, all the hurt that they caused each other will not be healed in one day. But over time, if they just worked at it, if they talked to each other, they could have been friends again. And they wouldn't need all this unnecessary drama. They could have been there to support each other in these hard times. Sorry for the rant. That might sound like a lot of things that I didn't like about this book, but thinking about this book, there are so many things that I loved about this book. So many more than I didn't like about this book. That's why I loved it so much. I loved our new character, Stormy. Stormy was just hilarious. When you think of a nursing home, you think of all these sweet little old ladies, but then there's Stormy. Stormy knows what she wants, and she goes out and gets it. She doesn't let other people's opinions stand in her way. She does whatever the heck she wants. Why? Because she can. I loved how Stormy and Alice were giving Laura Jean advice on her whole situation. I also love the scene where after the video of Laura Jean and of Peter was posted on Instagram, how Chris and Margo and Kitty were just there for Laura Jean and they were comforting her and they were they were willing to fight for her. They were willing to take down whoever had done this. And so was Peter and how he stood up in front of all the people at the assembly and said, hey, whoever did this, I'm gonna find you and I'm gonna beat you up. This, this is not okay. I really love seeing how all of Laura Jean's friends were so supportive and stood up for her in that moment. Just as everything was falling apart for her. Stormy and Kitty made me laugh so much in this book. Just about everything they say had me rolling over laughing. I really like the theme of loyalty and friendship in this book. And how all of Laura Jean's friends were there for her no matter what. Not only with the hot tub video incident, but also between the whole rift between Peter and Laura Jean at the end of the book. When Kitty is going around the cakewalk and Peter is just being a total asshole to her. And then Kitty says, you know what, this isn't alright. Yes, I may have liked you in the past, Peter, but this is my sister and you don't mess with her. It was so sweet to see. Kitty stand up for her because normally with Kitty, Kitty is just sassy and does whatever she wants. I really like seeing this moment with Kitty and Laura Jean. It was so sweet. There are so many things I loved about this book and there are so many things that I wish I could change about this book. I still really enjoyed this book. How did you guys feel about this whole situation? Did you guys like this book? Did you not like this book? I think most people are saying that they liked To All the Boys I Loved Before better. I don't know, this one is just so much more realistic and even though all the complications and all the issues I had with it, I'm 
might like this one a little bit more. But yes, those are all my thoughts and opinions on P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And in the comments below, let me know your thoughts on this book. And let's discuss it in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! It was just like the old, that, the dr the dr talking more about Laura Jean's mutter, 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 I mean, it was, the story was complicated,